so I thought I'd come up here for today's little ramble out to the uh, canal on a beautiful beautiful sunny morning unfortunately as well it's also sort of perfect for what I want to discuss because as I was coming up there then I realised my tyres getting flat so commuting and kit you carry with you this is my commuter for the moment for the moment at least this is my scut uh, if you haven't seen that video go and check it out and I think <laughs> one of the most important kits you can carry or bits of equipment you can carry is a pump always make sure you have a pump on you if you're gonna commute uh, a good distance at least well no all the time because even if you go in the two miles to work if you get to work and you've got a flat you need something to pump it up with and you need something to repair that flat with so I carry around this Topeak tool kit inside it's just basic stuff I've got some metal levers because I prefer them a Topeak chain tool actually has a chain tool Topeak multi tool which has a chain breaker on it spare tube and some patches in there as well so that's the minimum that I carry in there um, it gets you through stuff like whenever you get a, a puncture that is going down even more it, it helps I wonder if I can nip into Sainsbury's on the way past and fill it up so yeah I'd always advise carrying a toolkit with you even if you're only going two miles you can repair your stuff when you get there when you get to work other kit that I don't think you should be without I forgot this on my Instagram post but a water bottle cage and a water bottle um, especially in the summer that's only 500 mil normally I carry 700 mil in the summer for the distance that I do sometimes a luck because you never know when you're going to stop by the shops this is just a cheaper one but it folds out like that also comes with this cool little packet on here I know some people are going to ask so this is just the Jobsworth one from Planet X while I'm holding them as well gloves I personally don't think you should ride without gloves um, it should always be something that you have on your hands because what's the first thing you put down hands so they can save you from getting scrapes and stuff when you fall off Woo! <laughs> in the winter as well a waterproof jacket um, it's still it's a little chilly this morning as you can tell by my breath so I'm still wearing the jacket it is high vis as well all reflective should I say so it's got these reflective stripes all over it all over the back as well so that's two in one I've got something like this this is well you can't you're not going to be able to see anything but all these little stripes and stuff on there they're all reflective it's all over the back so that lights up talking of lights all the time I run daytime running lights um, and I run a bigger light in the night so I've got a daytime running light front and rear again it kind of helps you get seen these are C-Sense icons uh, they don't make them anymore and it's annoying because these are really good lights they're really good lights to swap round between my bikes real quick because this elastic strap yeah but lights always carry lights uh, in the winter as well I carry a main light and I also carry backups and the other thing really is well <laughs> helmet I don't think you should be without a helmet um, especially I mean it's personal choice it's completely personal choice but if you're gonna be riding on the roads wear a helmet um, and something else people mentioned mud guards if you're going to be doing any sort of commuting this bike I haven't quite worked out the mud guard situation because of this 27 fork on the front um, I would normally put some full mud guards on to go all the way around it stops spray at your feet a lot because it, it blocks all this stuff off um, at the moment I've just got this rear one on clips on it does the job of keeping most of the water off my ass but that is one thing that I would definitely agree with mudguards keeping mudguards in your commuter I think the rest is 
more personal choice than anything. Um, how we carry stuff at the moment. I have it on a pannier. I think this is a Tortec pannier with some Altera bags. I can't remember. But um, yeah, I'm loving the panniers at the moment. Just load up, I can load up both and I carry some straps on there just in case. Look, I commuted for years with a backpack. There's nothing wrong with backpacks. Um, you just get a little bit more sweaty in the summer carrying them, or actually all the time, because your back's always covered up. It's one thing to consider. Um, the bike itself, use whatever you've got, is fine. <laughs> whatever you've got is fine for commuting as long as it's comfortable. Um, but yeah, I think that's about it. Oh god. <laughs> I'm going to try and quickly get to the uh, air station. The bells might be useful. No, my tire is completely flat, man. So I was going to say, also, a bell might be a good thing, but seriously, the toolkit <laughs> saves you in situations like this. I'm still going to be probably late for work, but at least I fixed a tyre now. Um, and that is essentially what I carry with me on my commutes. I just probably don't recommend these tyres. Uh, yeah, that's it for today. Um, leave your equipment lists or whatever down below and i'll catch you in the next video i need to get to work Hello, little one. Hello. Hello. <laughs>